All right. Good morning and welcome to the Frog Connected Classroom Discover Career Series. Uh, today we have our guest, uh, Chief Operating Officer from YTL Coms, Mr. Ali Tabasi. Uh, to continue with this uh, session, please lead your own discussion uh, on discovering careers by encouraging your friends to follow this lesson and sharing and creating your own pictures, videos, uh, your own interviews and stories and share them on your social media channels using uh, such as Twitter, Facebook or even your blogs using hashtag FrogCC and hashtag FrogCOO for today's session. And welcome on board. Welcome uh, Mr. Ali. Uh, Mr. Ali, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us about your job position and how many years have you been on the field? I will be happy to. First of all, good morning and a big shout out to all of you guys uh, out in the schools. It is great to uh, get an opportunity to chat with you guys over Hangout. So uh, hopefully this is an exciting session the same way that I feel about it. Um, I'm Ali Tabasi. I'm Chief Operating Officer of uh, YTL Communication. I have been uh, in the field of telecommunication for the last 35 years and I have held many positions uh, starting from a technician position all the way up to the chief operating officer position in, in different companies uh, throughout the world. Uh, I have been in uh, Malaysia for the last four years, four wonderful years. It has been an exciting uh, journey for me and uh, looking forward to contribute more to the, the furthering of your education uh, throughout Malaysia and, and throughout your years in school. Um, I think you asked yep. uh, what is a COO. Uh, CEO stands for Chief Operating Officer uh, of, uh, of a company. So what does a Chief Operating Officer of a company does? Uh, we are responsible, I'm responsible for all the operations, all the operating activities uh, day to day uh, that is required to be running a, an organization and a nation nationwide <laughs> network. So uh, as you all have been using our services uh, of both uh, YES uh, connectivity and FROG uh, uh, VLE, uh, we had to develop a, a very uh, large network uh, in order to be able to deliver a world-class uh, connectivity services and world-class uh, collaboration uh, environment to you. So uh, all, all the, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, uh, seems like a very, very important job. Yeah, thank you. Uh, again, what uh, what uh, what do I do on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, again, I have all the technical organizations uh, reporting to me from engineering, from deployment, from an operation. I have uh, customer care uh, responsibility of customer care uh, in in my in my activities. Uh, we have I have responsibilities of making sure that. Uh, every aspects of our network, uh, our um, companies are running on all cylinders and be able to support our customers uh, uh, excellently uh, every day. I see. All right. Uh, Mr. Ali, can you tell us like your ambition when you were in school and how that actually led you into your field and where you are now? Oh. Um, when I was growing up, uh, I always wanted to uh, make sure that uh, I can reduce the boundaries of uh, families uh, not being able to uh, stay connected or see each other. So, um, uh, give you an example. I'm originally from Iran, and uh, I lived in the United States for over 30 years, and now I'm here in Malaysia. So I have uh, family members, uh, uh, my sons uh, are, are all three in the United States, in different states in the United States. I'm myself with my wife here in, in Malaysia. I have my uh, mother in Iran and, and cousins and others. So I, my ambition from day one has been how do we create an environment that we can have everyone close by and being able to enjoy uh, uh, being together, seeing each other, communicating with each other, on a daily basis and what better than uh, delivering a, a uh, wide area uh, wireless mobile broadband connectivity so everyone can stay connected at anywhere any part of the world that they are in. So that's yeah. why it landed me here. 
that's that's very good. That's very noble. That's how like like we are connecting now with you. That's correct. Yeah. So uh, as a CEO, can I know uh, how many hours do you have to work <laughs> a day? Oh, you know the number of hours are different. So it depends on how many how much projects you have in in your hand, how, what what activities you are doing in your hand. But a typical day for me starts uh, early in the morning by. Uh, getting up and uh, doing my prayers before I start my day, uh, followed by doing a little bit of exercise in order to keep the uh, body healthy, in order to maintain a strong mind inside a strong body, or healthy body at least, uh, and followed by uh, attending my, my emails and others to see what, what, what is going on, uh, what has happened uh, overnight, and uh, what are the activities and, and uh, what are the meetings that they have. Usually during the day, I have uh, several meetings that I have to attend to, uh, be it for a project meeting, be it for a new uh, partnership meeting, a new uh, discussions with the customers and others, and uh, followed by uh, doing uh, uh, reviews of, of uh, projects as, uh, and, and deliveries and the statuses of, of activities and, and others. Usually uh, it takes about uh, eight to nine hours at the office, but uh, as long as you're connected, uh, the, the lines of uh, personal life and work life are blurring more and more. And that is why you like what you're doing now, right? That is correct. All right. Uh, so, yeah, you mentioned a whole lot about uh, how you keep fit. You still uh, go to work and checking your emails. So I guess you have a very good work-life balance, I would say. So is there any other skills other than, like, really know how to time manage yourself? Uh, to be where you are? Well, of course. Um, uh, you know, you have to have uh, different knowledge and skill set throughout uh, your uprisings in order to be able to manage uh, the teams, manage the projects, manage the time, and most importantly, uh, create the right uh, uh, lo uh, you know, personal life and work, work uh, professional life uh, uh, balance. So, uh, depending on the company that you are going to be associated with and the services that they are offering, you will do different type of uh, education uh, to, to as part of your, uh, your um, you know, uprising. So, because the field that I am in, uh, it, it is more dealing with the telecommunication, electronics, and, and electrical engineering, I received my uh, my degrees in uh, two degrees uh, undergraduate in electrical engineering and mathematics, and then I continued with the uh, MBA, Master in Business Administration, to have a general understanding of how businesses are done, what are the financial requirements, what are the uh, ways that, uh, that that needs to be done, and then throughout the uh, working environment and throughout uh, going through uh, school. Uh, took several uh, program management, project management uh, uh, courses, 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 courses. Yeah, I took uh, several pro program management courses and, and not to mention I went for additional management courses on, as you know, there is not, uh, there's no way one person can uh, deliver everything that needs to be done is a team effort and uh, having multiple teams and knowing how to work with the different team members and, and uh, leading them is a very key. I see. So uh, you seem to be like continuously learning uh, even before and also when you're on uh, in your position now, right? So, uh, but I guess like what you said, uh, it depends on what company you're in and what kind of uh, services that uh, you're involving yourself in, right? So uh, that would answer the question of like, is there any specific field of study that you, we have to go through to be a CEO like you, and how, how far up in the education system do we have to go to be a CEO? Well, again, um, there are, as you said, the learning never stops. Learning continues uh, until the day that uh, you uh, you leave this uh, this uh, eternal world. So, uh, for for uh, being a chief operating officer of a technology driven company. You need to have a technology, a technology background in, in school. So, uh, I I took the electrical engineering as a uh, engineering background. Also, mathematics was another uh, uh, 
help for me to to have the analytical skills and and uh, being able to understand uh, numbers a lot easier uh, and continued that by uh, doing uh, masters in uh, business administration there are I have always had admission uh, ambitions of also getting my PhD so one of these days that uh, I have more free time I will continue my schooling to get my PhD and you never know maybe even postdoctorate degrees and, and be able to go so for CO in the te uh, te technical uh, organization you need to have a uh, certain type of background in engineering so that way when you're dealing with the day-to-day -day, uh, engineers, uh, developers, um, uh, implementers, operation teams uh, you're able to understand their, uh, their language, you can understand uh, where they're coming from and what they're uh, explaining in order to be able to have the right uh, discussions with them. Of course if you have the very good team a uh, very solid leadership team that they can take a lot of load off of you. It makes it a lot easier for you to do your job. Too. I see. All right. That's great. That's a very great advice. Uh, so I would like also to know, like, in any company, if uh, can anyone from any department in any company uh, be in your position? And how can someone uh, in any company be elected into uh, your position? Very good question. Anyone with an ambition to be a leader, uh, with a good head for uh, managing uh, multiple projects uh, simultaneously, managing people uh, and having good people skills, and being able to time manage themselves and, and their projects uh, and create the right balance between their uh, life and work, they are able to achieve this. If I have done it, I'm sure everyone else can do it too. All right, cool. Um, how long did it take for you to uh, be in your position, like from from when you started work? Oh, um, ooh, if I start from day one that I started work, it took me about uh, uh, 27, 28 years before I get wow. there. But um, <laughs> but uh, I, I guess I'm one of those veterans. With, uh, you know, my hair got a little bit uh, thin and, and and white as a result of it. So. Not because uh, my wife was yelling at me, so. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it uh, it all depends on the on the strength that you're having. Uh, of course, it has a lot with uh, what uh, God has uh, planned for you also, and your will, and uh, your your uh, strength that you have, and uh, ambitions that you have. So, uh, I was uh, very privileged to be uh, chosen as a CEO for uh, for YTL Communication. And it has been an exciting ride uh, since I have joined the company four years ago. Wow. All right. Uh, yeah, thank you. About uh, Then can we move on to, like, from your CEO position is already very high up in the management uh, level. So how far more can you go from here? Well, uh, there are a there are few more steps that can be taken uh, uh, as a leader. So uh, next, next level after the COO can be the uh, chief executive officer of a company that has a total re uh, responsibility of the entire company in addition to operation, the uh, executive administrative portion of it too. And uh, after that is the chairman of the board. Uh, and uh, and uh, uh, beyond that is becoming a chairman, of, uh, chairman or board member of many uh, successful organizations around the world or uh, around the industry. So uh, does that mean like if you're a CEO from uh, this particular company, you can still go ahead into another field uh, or another industry, but also holding the management position? Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, absolutely. So there, there is uh, there, there, uh, if you have the strong skill sets that I mentioned from uh, people management, pro program management, knowledge and skills in, in the field, you can apply that to any uh, industry uh, uh, leadership role uh, to manage uh, and deliver uh, results. So uh, as uh, you can see, of course, uh, different, different companies look for a specific uh, skill set. So for example, a banking uh, uh, company looks for a CEO that is more financial uh, background but look at a COO 
that is more well-rounded, that can run the entire operation while the management can focus on financial aspects of this stuff. If you look at the a, a automotive industry, yet again, they look at uh, someone uh, with the skill set that can program manage, people manage, uh, project manage, uh, and, and be able to uh, run a factory round, multiple factories around the world, and uh, in both domestically and internationally in order to run it. So yes, the, the skill set that you gain as becoming a senior leader could apply for other, other projects, but again, depending on the industry that you're working on, there may be a requirement for having a, a little bit more uh, specific understanding and knowledge in that specific field. All right. So, yeah, we will be opening our Q&A session to the schools very soon. So if you have a question, uh, please come to the front uh, of your camera. So if you have a question from the mana-mana sekolah, sila mara ke depan dekat dengan kamera anda. And please identify your school in our group chat so that uh, our control room can uh, unmute your school to for you to ask questions to uh, Mr. Ali Tabasi. So, yeah, uh, Mr. Ali, continuing uh, our conversation. So you mentioned about CEO and you are a COO. So can you tell us the difference between a CEO and a CEO? Well, uh, again, uh, in, in Whitetail Communication, we have the uh, privilege of having a CEO. Also, there are in some companies that uh, they will either have a CEO or COO, uh, but depending on the responsibilities and activities, uh, uh, there will be companies that have both. So Chief Executive Officer, CEO stands for Chief Executive Officer, is more uh, outward uh, uh, focused, uh, is the one that looks to see what requires to grow the company and how to work with different uh, partners and analysts and, and others uh, and industry relations and others externally. Uh, COO has more focus on internal activities and managing the day-to-day -day activities of the company. All right, that, that explains a lot. It's a very big difference, actually. So one will be handling the external uh, operations, whereas the COO will han handle things internally in the company. Is that right? That's one way of uh, defining it, yes. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, we can now open the floor to uh, questions from the school. So, uh, yeah, is there any questions from any school? If you have, please identify yourself in the group chat. Uh, just write your write down the name of your school at the side uh, in the group chat. So, kalau anda ada soalan kepada Encik Ali, so sila perkenalkan sekolah anda dalam group chat supaya controller boleh unmute sekolah anda. All right, Arafi, do we have any schools that is lining up? Uh, SMK Tree Rivers. Yes, SMK Tree Rivers, I think you have a question. Yes. Hello, hi, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. We are from Tree Rivers. My Hello. name is Hello. Mayor, right? Mayor. Can we ask question now? Hello, sir. Uh, what more? Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. How are you? Hello. How are you, sir? Hello. Hello, Hello sir. How are you? Hello, sir. How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you doing? Yeah. Oh, we are well, well, fine. Quite fine here. Uh, Salam, Thank you very much for all the. Uh, thank you very much for all the advice you give about you being a COO. Right? It's a very useful information for us. For us. Yes. My question is. My question will be, where are you from? <laughs> I'm originally from Iran. Iran. in KL? I'm sorry, please repeat your question. How long have you been staying in KL, as uh, in Malaysia? About four years and a little bit more than four years. Okay. Okay, I, do school. 
How do you find schools in Malaysia? How do you find schools in Malaysia? Oh, uh, it is uh, very exciting to visit different schools uh, throughout Malaysia. I have had the privilege of uh, visiting schools in KL, around KL, in uh, Sabah, Sarawak, uh, in Sabah, Sarawak, and, and other states. Uh, I can tell that each school uh, is unique. They have the charm of its own. Uh, some uh, new, some old. Uh, I wish when I was growing up, I had uh, a complex school such as you guys. Uh, you guys are very lucky in many cases. I was really saying old school. Um, considering you say, but there's an old school and new school. We are from the old school. So, as you so. know. Um, Depends how you define an old school. Uh, yes, fine. Yes, we. The school here is fine. Quite fine. Any other question? Um, my other question: Are you a full-time? Chief Operating Officer. Is there any other way to be a Chief Operating Officer? <laughs> I guess no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in, in order to be uh, uh, focused on, in, in order to be focused on all the projects, on all the operations yeah. of the company, you Not have no you. other uh, uh, chance no, no, but no. to be a full-time Chief Operating Officer. As you mentioned, as you have mentioned just now. As you have mentioned just now, learning never stops. How no. can you uh, now can you give us from some tips. some tips on how to always have in mind that we we must always learn until the end of one life. Our life. <laughs> okay. Very good. Uh, as you know there are different people have uh, Different ways to learn, uh, different uh, topics. So I would I would strongly suggest that uh, you allocate your time to be able to um, uh, to be able to devote some portion of your time outside of what your day-to-day -day activity of uh, education is to further your knowledge about uh, the world around you. Uh, number one is by reading newspaper. I mean, these days, uh, I think uh, newspaper becomes uh, one of the thoughts of the past uh, as we move on by everything becoming online and becoming electronics. Uh, so uh, being able to stay up to speed with the news feeds, so being able to find a, an, an area that you're excited to learn more about and continuously investigate about it and, and uh, be... Uh, uh, in know of what is going on and the new development in that area is always going to help you expand your your mind and knowledge about uh, about uh, the world around you. Oh, that's very good experience. Good experience. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Okay. My pleasure. All right. So thank you, SMK Three Rivers. Uh, I think up next we have. SMK Asunta. All right, uh, to schools that uh, are still lining up, uh, please post your school name onto the group chat so that uh, we can unmute your school. And before that, please avoid using uh, your mic because it's going to be uh, disturbing the audio for the session. Okay, SMK Asunka, are you taking yeah, yeah. questions? Okay, we are going to SMK Samatan for now. Uh, hi. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Uh, good morning. Hi, we are from Kaskia Sunda. Um, we have a few questions. Yeah. Uh, how much do you earn for money? I think that's a private uh, and personal information. I don't think I can share that with you. But uh, of course, uh, different uh, uh, organizations uh, have different uh, pay scales for the different uh, uh, positions that they have within the within the company. Um, I'm sure that the pay should be reasonably uh, fair based on the amount of work and uh, 
contribution that the individual has for the company. Uh, what do you do? Do you get uh, the Sorry, please repeat your question. Sorry, what yeah, do you do? Oh, what, what? Because yeah, so, um, yeah, what do you do during your free time? Yeah. I couldn't hear. Are you asking me what do I do in my free time? Is that what you ask? Yes. Yes. Oh, very good. Uh, one quick thing. I see a lot of beautiful faces on the screen, but I don't see the person that's asking the question on the screen. Is that uh, by, by by design? You guys are trying to confuse me. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Okay. Nice. There you go. okay. I was I was wondering maybe the, I'm dealing with the ventriloquists that they are they're not moving their lips but they are talking. So. Uh, okay. So your question about what do I do uh, uh, for as a personal time? Uh, number one, I'll I'll try to. And as much time I can with uh, with my family uh, uh, when uh, when my kids are in town visiting me, so I try to make sure that I spend a lot of time with them in my free time. And in addition to that, I always try to uh, plan certain activities that uh, both my wife and I can can participate on, so that way uh, we can uh, take full advantage of uh, the time that that we have. And of course, uh, if time allows, uh, I love to do. Uh, Outdoor activities such as uh, walking, hiking, uh, playing tennis, playing volleyball, or anything else, and visiting new places. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, so next we have SMK Saman Samatan. SMK Samatan. <laughs> okay. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I do hear you. Do you hear me? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, SMK Sumatan, uh, please ask your question. Okay. Uh, what is the hardship faced by being a COO, and how do you overcome it? A uh, very good question. The challenges, the hardship. Very good question. Very good question. Again, um, being the being the chief operating officer of the company uh, has a lot of responsibility, and one of the main responsibility of it is to make sure all the systems are up and running 100% of the time. Uh, and any time that there is any outages, incidents, uh, any issues in the network. It will uh, keep me up at night, and uh, we're constantly looking to see how we can improve that. So that is one of the most challenging uh, in, uh, areas of my work, that we need to make sure that we are always uh, uh, vigilant and trying to uh, identify issues from before they happen. And if they do happen, uh, restore the, the, the service as, as soon as possible. All right, I hope that answers your question. Uh, up next, we have SMK BBS. SMK BBS. Uh, Wani, I think we have Ms. Wani on. Hello, everyone. Hi, yes. Hello? 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 Hi, you're on, yes. Hello? 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 Yes. Listen to me? Listen to yes. us? Yes, yes, I can hear you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello, sir. Hello? I'm from SMK BBS. May I know the step before you sit in CEO? The list of the list. The step before I became a CEO. Yes. Okay, very good. So as I, as I mentioned, I, uh, I started uh, my work in the telecommunications industry from early days uh, as a technician first. 
uh, moved again while I was uh, doing my uh, uh, graduate uh, undergraduate studies. I was working as a technician after but after graduating with my uh, bachelor degree in electrical engineering and uh, and uh, mathematics, I started working as an engineer, design engineer, uh, and uh, moved up in the ladders of the engineering from an engineer to uh, senior engineer to uh, manager of engineering to director of engineering to uh, vice president of engineering to senior vice president and ultimately uh, chief executive uh, chief uh, operating officer as at this time and one of these days hopefully i will be chairman and chief executive officer of a company all right, uh, all right thank you very much smk uh, bbs up next uh, we i hope i hope that answers your question up next we have as um, science lab one Good morning. Uh, and uh, moved up in the ladder of engineering from an engineer to uh, senior engineer to uh, manager of engineering. Hi, I'm Science Lab One. Yes, uh, to all other schools, if you can please mute your mic to uh, avoid uh, audio disruption in this session. Thank you very much. SM Science Lab One, you're up. You have a question for Ms. Ali? Sorry, June, I cannot hear them. Uh, how do you manage your personal time and your work? So your work-life balance. Oh, okay. Well, again, uh, depending on the amount of projects and uh, activities that uh, we need to do, I'm at the office usually around uh, 8.30 in the morning, uh, 8 or 8.30 in the morning, and I am uh, leave the office about 7, 7.30 in the evening. So uh, after that, I will be at home and, uh, and uh, spend time with the family. All right. Thank you very much, uh, SM Science Lab One. All right, up next is SMK Abdul Rahman Talib, Kuantan, from Kuantan. SMK Abdul Rahman Talib, Kuantan, uh, you are up. Do you have a question? Hi, SMP Abdul Rahman Talib Kuantan. Hello? Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. So, you have a question? Uh, yes. Um, to to yes. Mr. Ali. Yeah. What? What do you love about Malaysia? Oh, how much time do we have? I can say a lot of stuff about uh, Malaysia. So let me let me start it by uh, saying that I love uh, the the weather here. I like it that it's uh, always warm. Uh, I love I love it that uh, the the food, uh, the variety of the food that I can have here. 
I, I enjoy uh, meeting a lot of uh, nice people, very warm and friendly people, and, uh, and uh, lots of natural beauties, uh, um, be it water sports, be it uh, outdoor sports and other activities. So uh, I'm, I'm really privileged to be uh, uh, living in, in, in Malaysia. All right. Malaysia is a very beautiful country, isn't it? Absolutely. All right, uh, up next we have Tunku Abdullah Science School. Tunku Abdullah Science School, you're up. Hi. Is there another question? Yes, Tunku Abdullah Science School, we can hear you. Uh, what is your question? Wow. Excellent question. Are you doing this for passion or for money? <laughs> Am I doing this for passion or for money? Of, uh, course, yeah. I'm, of course I'm doing it for the passion of uh, delivering the result. Uh, money is not everything. Uh, money, money is good. I'm not saying not having money is not good. Uh, but it is not the first priority to, to do a job. All right. So that's very important. You should find all your passion first. The money will come naturally, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Tunku uh, Abdullah Science School. So we have SMP Asunta next. SMP Asunta. Go, SMP Asunta. No. Yep. Hi. Hi. Yes, we can hear you. Very good morning, Mr. Ali. It's very nice to meet you here. It's nice to meet you guys too. How passionate are you about your career? How, how passionate I am about? Yeah, about your career. My career? I'm very passionate. Uh, if I wasn't passionate, I would not be here in the first place. So. Uh, there's always good to have a passion in life and uh, the passion drives you. Uh, I'm very excited about uh, what I do and the contribution I do for the uh, well-being of, uh, of the citizens of Malaysia, including uh, beautiful students like you guys. That's beautiful. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, SMK. As well. Up next, we have Jun. Uh, Jun, I sorry, think yeah. it was a question uh, from oh. Asunta. It was a follow-up question. Yeah. Sorry, Asunta. Yes. Has your with your career affect your family life, like spending time with them and all? First of all, um, from time to time. When we have uh, long uh, project timelines and others, it does eat into the family life. But I have uh, tried to, uh, first of all, I have a very understanding uh, family, very understanding wife and kids. They fully understand uh, the responsibilities that I have. Uh, and uh, uh, when we do have time to spend with each other, we try to make the most out of it and not, uh, not try to uh, battle over why we didn't have enough time. All right. I hope that answers your question. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you. Uh, yeah, now we have uh, SMK Tree Rivers. SMK Tree Rivers, uh, I think they're, they have a question for you. Hello, SMK Tree Rivers. Hi. 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 I was going to see you again. I want to ask you another question. Hello, Hello sir. Hi, sir. Hey. I would like to ask how many children do you have? You Where are me? they now? I'm sure they are all dedicated and succeed as you are. My question is what, what are the good practices that you? Have given to your lovely children. Okay, so if uh, uh, let me repeat the question, make sure I understood it. First, you're asking how many children do I have uh, and where they are, and what advice I have given them. Yes. yes. 
Very yeah. good. Excellent questions. Excellent questions. Uh, my wife and I, uh, uh, God has given us three uh, wonderful uh, boys. Uh, we are very lucky to have three boys. Uh, the eldest one uh, graduated from university last last year, and uh, is uh, following his uh, uh, going for a, a back, uh, master degree and working. The second one and the third one are uh, working uh, on their undergraduate schools in in universities in the United States. All three of them are there. Our model of the uh, family has always been God, family and do the best in what whatever you want to do. So that has been my advice to my kids, and uh, I'm proud uh, to see that they are following that advice. Thank you very much. Very good advice indeed. All right. Uh, we have Tengku Abdullah Science School again. We have Tengku Abdullah Science School. Uh, they have a question for you. Uh, sir? Yes? Hello? Um, good morning again. Good morning. Um, have you been a top scorer since childhood or do you perform later? Uh, that is our question. <laughs> okay, let me make sure I understand your question. Your question is have I been a top scorer, meaning from a performance and schooling from oh, yes. childhood? Yeah. Uh, or did I become top scorer later on? Um, you know, uh, that's an excellent question. I never thought about that. But uh, if you t ask my uh, my parents uh, and my um, uh, teachers when I was growing up, I was a very uh, good student. I was very athletic. Uh, tried to participate in uh, as many athletic uh, 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 sporting uh, activities as possible. Uh, I was uh, always tried to get good grades. Doesn't mean I was a, a student all the time, uh, but I had always uh, worked hard, uh, uh, studied hard, and uh, tried to uh, be a good person. So I would say maybe from uh, from day one, I have been trying to do that, and I'm continuing to to do that until the last day that I'm uh, alive. All right. Uh, thank you. Yeah. So. Up next, we have SMK Sumatan. SMK Sumatan, you're up next. Hi, SMK Sumatan. Yes, we can hear you. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. I, I, I cannot hear loud and clear, but I can hear very faint. Yeah, try to speak louder. Uh, that's it possible for a woman to be a COO? Wow. Is it possible for a woman to be a COO? That is your question? Is it possible for a woman to become a COO? What, what, was that the question? Is it possible for a woman to be a CEO? Yeah, I guess that's it. Absolutely. Uh, there is no gender bias in, in, in becoming an executive as long as, as a matter of fact, I know a, a lot of my, my good friends uh, are, are CEOs and COOs that they are female, and I'm proud to, uh, to know them, and uh, they are very uh, uh, intelligent, they're very uh, well uh, in, uh, versed in their what they are doing, and there is no limitation. Yep. So I guess uh, there is no such thing as a man-only CEO role. That's not so what I. As long I, as you have the leadership, <laughs> yes. As long exactly. as you have the leadership quality, the management, uh, your abilities, you will naturally go up. All right. Absolutely. Uh, yes. So up next we have SMK KKB. SMK KKB, uh, Anchi Rosli, your school has a question? All right, we're getting the last question from SMK uh, KKB, Anchi Rosli. You and I cannot hear anything. Hi. SMK KKB. SMK KKB, please unmute your mic. Uh, you can 
You can forward your question. Hello? Hello? Bye. Yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Uh, hello sir, uh, I have a question. Please. What do you think about virtual learning environment in Malaysia? Oh, that is a fantastic question. So, um, I think Malaysia, uh, first of all, I think you guys should be proud of what you have uh, in your possession today. I believe Malaysia is the only country in the world that has a nationwide uh, virtual learning uh, uh, environment uh, that that is been given to the students to furthering their education. Uh, if it is my understanding uh, through uh, that United States, uh, even uh, President Obama, uh, when he was visiting uh, uh, Malaysia, when we uh, brought to his attention what we have done here, he was so surprised. He said that he's been trying to do that in U.S. for the last several years and he has not been successful to do that. Uh, the same thing goes for all the uh, uh, developed countries uh, such as uh, United Kingdom and others. Uh, earlier, uh, earlier this year uh, or late last year, we had the Minister of Education from Sweden come and visit us and they have heard about what we have done here, uh, as you may know. Sweden is one of the top 10 uh, educational uh, environment in the world and uh, they were so pleased about what we have done here and we were very pleased of what we had uh, done here too that uh, this uh, lady uh, let us know that they thought, uh, that Minister, Minister of Education in Sweden thought that Sweden is in forefront of education and how to deliver the education to their students uh, but by far, they need to learn from, from Malaysia here. So uh, I'm proud to be associated with this project and I'm proud to uh, be, uh, be able to deliver such a capability to this uh, wonderful country and the wonderful students such as you guys. And we are very happy to have VL in Malaysia as well. And I'm sure the schools are all very happy to have uh, joined you in this session. This is a, like, a very junky way of uh, contacting uh, a CEO. You're so a kind. Very high tech way. Yeah. So um, that will be the last question. We have come to the end of the session actually. So uh, before we are done with this, I think uh, I would like Mr. Ali to give a few words of advice to students who are thinking of going ahead, uh, heading into uh, the working life and going up the management level like you. Do you have any words of advice? I, I believe uh, the, the same world of advice that I've given to my kids, I can give it to you guys. Uh, whatever you can imagine is possible. Do not, do not stop. There is always, uh, when there is a will, there is a way. Uh, I'm sure that you guys, each one of you have uh, different interests, different uh, uh, area of, of uh, uh, interest and what you want to be doing. Not everyone wants to be a COO. They are artists. They, my, my son is uh, studying to become a performing art. Uh, one son is uh, uh, studying to be managing sport clubs. One son is starting to, to become an in, uh, uh, um, international relations. So there are different way, ways to uh, contribute. Uh, go for what you believe and what you love to do. That's the first thing because if you do what you love to do, you will always uh, become uh, better and better and you uh, uh, make everyone around you benefit from it. Wow, very great advice. So I hope the schools keep note of that. And uh, thank you for joining us in this session. If you have extra question for uh, this session, you can continue to tweet us your questions using hashtag frogcc or hashtag frogcoo. We will try to uh, answer them if it is possible. And uh, that's it for the session today. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ali Tabasi, for joining us in this session. I Thank hope you very much. I hope has learned a lot. It was my privilege to spend time with the, with the schools. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, thank you to all schools. That's it. That's the end of the session for today. So uh, please continue your own discussion. Uh, tweet about us. Post about us on Facebook. Uh, blog about us. Even try to conduct your own interviews with your own CEO, perhaps, if you have one. And uh, remember to use the hashtag FrogCC and also hashtag FrogCOO for today's session. Thank you very much. See you again. Thank you. Shoot for the stars.